fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A box and an army can prove more ravaging than even the fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. Yous can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. So, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains. Because they've not got beauty. Is that right, lads? Oh, aye. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a Chanel pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, would you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? There's no denying our beauty, but she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. 
Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Uh, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. Yeah, classic Radovid. Can't complain, really. I've lived at home since the fighting subsided, resumed my practice, and simply treat the ill. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. I'm a Kaviri Duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the Toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind, and now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a censor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Oh. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, von Estiken, von Everek. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near that manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the censor? We can meet at the entrance. That? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Piss off before I kick your asses. We'll see who kicks whose ass. Get him, lads! Pound his gob! Boy, <laughs> 
I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. You'd have managed it? Managed those men by yourself? Of course. Knee to the bollocks, elbow to the throat. Job done. Walk you home? Hey now. I'm grateful, sure, but I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. Walk you home, that's it. Hmm. In that case, yes. Come. Master Witcher, do you always help folk for free? Sometimes for free, usually for pay. Phew, I was afraid you were abnormal. What the devil? Here it is. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. Might be right. But these days, better safe than sorry. Take care of yourself. What is it? The witch has to defend us from monsters. Order in the fatherland. To death on three pounds of steel. Have you a auction house in the new management? The sign still says more Sunday. You can learn a great deal when you're gripping a pair of pincers or what. Stay out of my way. Go, go.
it's clearing up. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. A wedding? Whose? A dear friend's. From the Academy. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Wraiths. Alexei, age 19, beloved son and brother. Hmm, probably shouldn't touch that. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are, now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room.
Life and death, fire and blood. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voted fire. Fire and blood. Life and death, I summon ye, whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are? And why you've come matter little, for you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. <laughs> Kill him! For Olgird's blood. Sons, those of our say. Eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though, in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came. In 
into Olgird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Olgird's. I'm here on important business. I'm a swithing corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting. Corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas... Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True! We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot, so we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Listen, feels like I should know all geared better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgird. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgird. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how did it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut, and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, Olgird gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid! Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. 
Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Come on, we're wasting time. I'm not to waste time! Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive, too? Do not anger me, boy. If I've but one night, I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt! Wake up! Open your eyes! Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? It's his fault. A pleasure to meet you, my sweet. Whose? His. You know, Olgird's brother. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm, there's potential in that. Leave Shani out of this. Ah, is that a name? Lovely. A perfect name for a perfect lass. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery! Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, sugar plum. Let's say you we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. 
Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> The haylofts we shall devastate together. We're just friends, always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions, confessions. Never anything between us. You mean to say you never gripped those gorgeous... Ooh. Never cherished those beautiful, nay, stunning. So, soft in the head or the loins? Excuse me? Ah, a pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly satisfied. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward, I'll be right behind you. You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. Bloody fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rub. Stable withers. Well, well. See, you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life, mares and maidens. <laughs> Spoking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. Faster. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Giddy up. Oh. Oh. What now, you piece of filth? This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold! Wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold! Mean to go in, wearing that? 
What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit! Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool, but I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this'll be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way. My strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. None compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Oh. 
that doesn't last. Time to time to say no. Be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearie's blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could- Righto, I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Tell me, Aldona, how is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come. Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their. It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds, and win the prize that comes with it for their witch. Um, lady, maybe. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there! <laughs> Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, baby. Got a nice and cozy pen for you.
see that, Shawnee? One big pen. Peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However, it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You'll enjoy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Mm, tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. I woo and woo, yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Lesky, step away from the barn. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our dar on his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. 
I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence balls right over there for the taking. Very stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Do damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. Your methods, quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones. We must find more, more fun. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows? What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? You're a fucking dunk glitch! Hey, you look at we've a pill. Ah, good noggin. You're a fucking dunk glitch! Hey there, Anson. Drink with us. Drink with us! I never say no to a lady. To your fair beauty. And to yours, Shani, naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. No just I live down the hill. This storm is Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? <laughs> Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. 
Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Your tits up, mate. 
Slap those asses' ears on your asses' noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <laughs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, <laughs> faster, till we expire. <laughs> Special guests, the Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. me. It's a gift. My legs are preternaturally skilled. I never expected the members of Allgate's band to have a taste for dancing. Yet it's so. We dance and dance at every opportunity. As fond of fun as fighting, our motto. Seems the music and the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner? Um, not sure I do. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't want you like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm 
curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me. Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Everick. Because they are churls. <laughs> don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes, he acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. The night is young. Come, let's do something wild. A legend. So dark. I've gingerbreads now, but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, they'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all here from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like me. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it. I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. 
But Holgear told everyone I flew at all five. Took them on all at once. Alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgeard visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it bother. Young Kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now revel on. Time will wait. Where's your...